Bouncing on. Here we go. 15, 14, 12, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Welcome to the 2015 Quadruple Play Draft Lottery. This is Keith, the Commissioner, and let's get right into it. The first lottery ball for the number 10 pick goes to... Corn on Ty Cobb. Hey, that's my team. I drafted third overall last year and finished in sixth place. The previous year, in 2013, I drafted Miguel Cabrera number two overall and then won the league. This year I'll have the 10th pick and hey, I don't mind picking number 10. Next up is the number 9 draft slot, and number 9 goes to... Spree Sluggers! Last year's champion in 2014, Spree drafted 10th, and he took Hanley Ramirez, and then he won the league. Spree's the only active owner with three championships. He'll look to become the first team ever in QP to win four titles this year. And in 2014, Spree won QP Baseball, he won Tout Wars Basketball, and he won Fifth Down Football, the first owner ever to win all three leagues in one year. So we'll see what he can do in uh, 2015. Meanwhile, here comes the lottery ball for pick number eight, and it goes to the Splinter Raptors. The Raptors are entering their third year in QP. Last year, the Raptors drafted Mike Trout, first overall, and then finished in fifth place. The previous year, the Raptors drafted uh, third overall and took Ryan Braun. That didn't work out so well, but this year we'll see how they do with pick number eight for DJ Bix and the Splinter Raptors. Next up is pick number seven, and the number seven lottery ball belongs to... The Wrecking Crew. <laughs> An original QP owner in 15 seasons, Joe has finished in the top five 11 times. That's more than any other team, but he's still searching for that first QP championship. He'll have the number seven pick this year. Moving along now to number six overall, and pick number six goes to... The Black Knights. The Black Knights have two QP championships, and they have six top three finishes in the last 15 years, another original owner. Last year they drafted fourth and took Paul Goldschmidt and then finished in fourth place. This year it'll be the number six overall pick. And by the way, happy birthday to the owner of the Black Knights, Uncle Mike, yesterday, or maybe today, depending on when you're listening to this. Happy birthday, Uncle Mike. All right, next up is the lottery ball for pick number five. And the fifth selection goes to... The Voice. <laughs> the Voice draws the number five pick for uh, oh for the second year in a row. Well, it worked out pretty well last year when The Voice doubled up with pitchers Clayton Kershaw and then Adam Wainwright back to back in the first two rounds, and then he finished in second place, a close second place, controversial. Maybe could have won the league if he had uh, used up all his innings. We'll see how he does this year. And now here we go into the top four. Pick number four goes to the Amaze Goldhorns. Previously known as the Lajuba Lajana Goldhorns, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing both of those correctly. Alice, let me know if I'm not pronouncing either correctly. Uh, the team was renamed last year after Olympian Tina Maze, who uh, you're seeing here and who I think I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Uh, the Goldhorns are the only team to finish in the top four for the past three years. Alice uh, will be drafting from six hours in the future in the Central European time zone, as usual, and um, he will have pick number four. Here comes pick number three, and really at this point, all these owners are winners because uh, you can't go wrong with a top three pick this year. But here comes number three. Pick number three belongs to... Epic of Gilmash. And, uh... There's, uh, there's Carlos Puig, who I think has only ever been on Epic in his QP career. And, uh, oh, there's Gilgamesh. Uh, if, uh, my, uh, my teleprompter app just stopped working, so I'm going off script now. Um, it's pretty late, I'm not gonna even work hard, any more takes, so I'm gonna just freestyle from this point forward. So if you notice a difference, it's because it's unscripted now, no teleprompter. Uh, <laughs> Brennan's got the number three overall pick, and, uh, so that means that next up is, uh, number two overall. And here comes the lottery ball for number two. And it's LeBron's smiley face, AMAC. 
It's, it'll, be, it'll be his second year in QP this year. There's a LeBron smiley face right there. AMAC drafted ninth overall last year and then finished in eighth place, taking Ryan Braun with that number nine pick. He'll enter his second year in QP this year with a number two overall pick. And that means there's only one team left, and the number one overall pick in 2015 belongs to Kevin Eight's OK Team. Congratulations, Kevin. <laughs> Another owner entering his second year in QP. It was his first year last year. He drafted eighth, took Edwin Encarnacion with that pick, and then followed it up with Dustin Pedroia. Pedroia didn't work out so great last year, but uh, Encarnacion's always good. So it'll be uh, Kevin with the number one overall pick, followed by LeBron, Epic of Gilmesh 3, Amaze 4, The Voice 5, Black Knight 6, Wrecking Crew 7, Splinter Raptors, Spree Sluggers, and then Corn on Ty Cobb. That's your draft order for the 2014, uh, 2014, 20, what year is it? <laughs> for the 2015 draft, which uh, is, uh, check your calendar, it's probably today, depending on when you're listening to this. It's on uh, March 26th. That's a Thursday, and uh, probably today. Again, it depends when you when you watch this video. But March 26th is the draft. Uh, make sure you have the time correct. It is at 9:30 Eastern time um, for most owners, but um, well, I guess Eastern time for all owners. It might be a different time for your local time. And again, Alice will be drafting in the future. Um, and make sure you test your computer first. I've been reading that a lot of people have been having Yahoo issues this year, so make sure you test your computer first. Uh, that's all I got to say. So um, see you at the draft. And here is to a great 2015. Play ball.